mail och training peaks och snart på telefonen igen. Så får det fint. Superbra. Hej Larry! So, that was, that was it. That was my um, working day today. Oh, not my working day, because I had some uh, phone calls uh, in the afternoon. Today it's Wednesday, and on Wednesdays I have always all my phone calls, all my coaching phone calls. And um, I do them first in the morning, and then I do them late in the afternoon and in the evening. So, that's it. Now I'm just, yeah, I'll just close this down and I'll go for some training and today I will do some um, bike intervals and then I will do a short brick run uh, and that's it for today. No swimming today because it's uh, it's Wednesday so I don't have too much time today so I'll try to just train like two hours, two and a half hours or something. So that will be a good day. Now I need some Yumara Intent because I was up early this morning and I uh, had some phone calls. So I need to be a little bit... Yeah. Alert. Alert, exactly, alert. Before I go for my break session, I just want to say thank you all for... Because now we are more than 3,000 subscribers on this channel. I think it's, it's great. And thanks to you who have been here for a while and thanks to you who have been here for just today. Uh, I hope you will enjoy everything and uh, yeah, I will just keep this up and I will try to post more often and I feel really motivated and everything and you do too, you know? Don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, but now the intent is kicked in, so I need to go. I have way too much energy to stay inside. So, yeah, let's go. I'll take you with me. Don't worry. I just need to charge this one. All right. There we go. Uh, so, I just need to charge this one for a little bit and then uh, change clothes and everything and then I will go. Normally, I, I, I always try to do like this. I, I try to do my, like everything with the coaching business first. I just finish it, like everything, so I, had, I don't have any unanswered emails, so like everything is done. So I can only focus on the training the rest of the day. And when I do the coaching, I can focus only on that. So I've been coaching for eight years and I've only been coaching like in Sweden or like two Swedish people in Swedish, but I will actually launch my coaching global now and uh, I will start this actually already now in April uh, and I will open up for two spots for international clients uh, who speak English. Um, so if you're interested just just give me a, give me, send me an email, I will, I will post my uh, email in the description uh, and I will give you some information about it. So how long do you think it takes to charge the GoPro? I don't know. Hopefully not too long. But I think it's not completely dead, so... No. Okay. Yeah, so I'll change clothes. Yeah, yeah, I'll get changed.
tank because the uh, power numbers were super low but heart rate was good and uh, the speed was good so I don't care about the numbers it was good enough I did all I can do and now you're gonna go out for a super windy run yeah you will be I think even more wind than last time but still it's good training it doesn't matter it's harder on the bike because I mean it's really hard to ride on a velodrome with no wind but with wind it's it's really hard because you you just just it's really hard to find a rhythm okay so I need a I need a gel How was your run? Good. Yeah, I treated you to do eight kilometers. Yeah. What gel is that? Uh, you more uh, gel, black current. Is it good? Yeah, it's a good one. And uh, when I'm when I'm competing, I use, I'm using this. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Will it be a good run? Yes. I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I gotta go. See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. How did it go? Really good. That was fun. It was really windy, but I was, uh, I was a lot faster than last time. And I did, uh, I just did 20 minutes hard and uh, I managed to do uh, 5.75 kilometers in that. So it's pretty good. I think it's like 3.30 average speed or something. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. For being just like a um, brick run, it's good. So what's on your schedule now? Now it's uh, food. I just need to calm down a little bit and have some water and then I will eat and maybe I will have an extra session today a swim what do you think? if you have time? I don't know I will see <laughs> it depends. I don't know what time it is I've just been training let's so. go in it's very windy yeah let's go inside right and I mean if I don't do the swim it's just a bonus is it still itching? yeah yeah and it's more than a week ago and I have some numbness here too I think it's like two weeks ago it happened. Yeah, almost. On Friday it's, Tuesday, it's two weeks, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Whatever, it's getting better, so yeah. I'm not worried. When I turned the camera off, you said that you think that if you run if you run like this in Porto Colombia you will do a very fast run. Yeah, I think I think so. But I won't be able to go this fast in Porto Colombia, but hopefully pretty close. And I'm I'm surprised I'm feeling pretty good. Because um, when, when I think about protocol, I feel like, oh, it's so, it's so soon. And I'm like, I mean, Game of Thrones starts in like the last season. It feels like, oh, like that's many weeks away. But I mean, protocol is the day before. So <laughs> it feels like it's like super soon. Which, is, all, more, which is more exciting. <laughs> protocol for sure. But I mean, it's all about perspective. That's kind of fun. Is it okay if I'm more excited for Game of Thrones? Yeah, it's okay. I know you are. <laughs> so, a late lunch today. Yeah, super exciting. It's just some pasta with uh, simple bolognese with uh, lentils. And, uh, and no vegetables today. <laughs> no, no vegetables. We really get to some grocery shopping. Yeah. Because we are, we don't have any vegetables at home. Fruits. Only a little bit of fruit. And you want some food too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do some uh, some shopping, and maybe we can do a video about food soon. Uh, maybe next video. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that, and then I will tell you how I'm eating and uh, what I normally eat, what kind of food and uh, everything, because this is not. This is not what I normally eat. I mean, sometimes, yes, but like, not always. Even if it seems like I'm always eating this. So 
So I guess the next uh, video, the, the title will probably be like uh, what a vegan pro triathlete eats. And um, if you have some questions about uh, vegan nutrition and uh, uh, sports, just uh, write them in the, in the comment section and I will answer them in the next video. Someone else is hungry, right? Yeah, someone else. Always. We have half of the avocado that you can eat. Oh, can I have that one? Are you done with today's work? Yeah, I am. And uh, I wanted to go for the swim, but I checked the swim schedule first and the pool was full, so I couldn't go, unfortunately. It's possible on Tuesday and Thursday and Friday to swim that late, but not today. So, not yeah. too bad. Yeah, it was just a bonus, so but it doesn't matter really. Still, it would have been fun. And are you having some pasta maybe right now? Mm. As I told you before, I'm opening up my coaching business uh, globally. And uh, that means, like I said, that I will take, um, take on international clients, English speaking by international clients. Uh, now only two of them now, uh, so maybe more later. I'm also starting up um, uh, an international, an international uh, Facebook group and it's, it's free and it's open for everyone, so if you want to join us there, feel free to do so. I'll post the link in the description so you can just check it out and join us. You don't have to say anything, you can just be there. It's free and yeah, and it will be free until the 1st of September. And from 1st of September, it will only be for clients. Before that, it's open for all. So, you're welcome. And it's gonna be uh, uh, about triathlon and cycling and yeah. like, training tips and advice. And That's true, yeah. Nutrition. I should have told you about that, but I'm too tired. So, it's, it's for triathletes and cyclists, or if you're just very interested in like triathlons and uh, cycling and uh, or maybe just uh, like sports nutrition uh, or stuff. Um, so you're welcome to join us and check it out and see what it is. So I don't really know where I am right now because I'm way too tired. <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you did, click the thumbs up and um, maybe subscribe. And uh, yeah, it's one more thing. Uh, yeah, now I know. No, it's two more things. It's two more things. Um, Click the notification bell so you don't miss my next video that I will try to post next week. I'll try. Uh, and also, I have Instagram if you haven't checked that out. So I will post the link in the description for Instagram too. My name on Instagram is uh, Linden Andreas. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. So. I'm impressed. You're impressed. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now it's good night for me. So see you good soon. Night. <laughs> good night.